you remember, after his extraordinary escape from Rochdale prison cells, our modern-day Houdini, David Duval, asked for more challenges and got them. Duval. Yes, it is. Right, David. Uh, you've, you've been a very clever lad so far. I make magical equipment for magicians yes. all over the world. Oh, you're a magician, so you might be able to catch him out then. Catch him out, I'll destroy him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you wait and see, he might. Tonight he's taking that challenge up and a lot more. And with him live now from Blackpool is Jenny Barnett. Yes, well, hi there, you all. Yes, we've got the man here, Mr. Derek Lever, is standing right next to me, and he's still confident after his boast on the telephone. We've got all the other challengers standing this side of Dave. Tell me, Derek, tell me, come here. Are you confident you're going to beat him? I am absolutely certain we're going to beat him. It's a very strong challenge indeed. OK, and you, what do you think to that? Nothing on earth can hold me a prisoner. Oh, nothing. OK, thank you very much, Dave. Thank you, Derek. Now, you lot at home are going to be able to watch this, re this escape attempt on this camera here. It's going to follow Dave all the way through. Unbelievable. We're in a different sort of prison. Here we are in the Pleasure Beach at Blackpool. It's been pouring with rain all day. It's freezing cold and we're 50 feet above the ground in this appalling machine which is called the Revolution. It's a terrible task he's got to do because this travels constantly, all the time. It goes at 60 miles an hour. It turns upside down. I just do not know how he's going to do it. It's going to be covered in all sorts of things. Now, when they fire this thing off, we go shooting into this distance and the G-force is... Ah! Sorry, Jenny, I didn't quite catch that. What was it? <laughs> ah! Okay, well, he's got till uh, 8 o'clock to get out of that, whatever it is. As he said there, no prison on earth can uh, hold me. Well, we'll see by 8 o'clock tonight. Right, now, the last time we saw Jenny Barnett, she was letting out a sort of high-pitched, blood-curdling scream hanging upside down from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Jenny, where are you now? What's happened? Oh, well, I'm alive and well. Charlie Marks never said the revolution was going to be like this, believe me. <laughs> but anyway, listen, listen, you can't think in that thin thing, let alone pick locks. So the man who's responsible for it is Vince Strickland, who operates the revolution. Good evening. And he's the one that challenged David to sit in this thing. Tell us what he's up against. He's going to be travelling along at 60 miles an hour. He's going to be secured in by a harness, which is real secure. When he goes around the loop, he's going to be pulling two Gs. And I also have seen him escape from a police cell in Rochdale. And I actually don't think myself that he's going to escape the revolution tonight. Oh, do you not, I Vince? So what do you reckon? Well, that's make me sort of made me all the more determined. Oh, think, well, yeah. all the more determined. Now, look, gravity is not the only thing it's got to contend with. It's also got to contend with this horrible thing brought in by our very own Daryl, Der Derek Lever. And this diabolical contraption, where do you get the inspiration from? Well, the man in the iron mask is a very nice story. And this restraint has never been escaped from, not even by Houdini. It goes around the head, it's locked on either side with two locks and hasps, and that is a serious challenge, believe you me. Tell him it's a serious challenge. Now, our very own locksmith is Mr. Mick Hanslick, who's brought in the most unusual locks. Can you tell us about it? Yes, well, my father was a locksmith before me, and he collected lots of strange locks. This first one, it's, um, it's a Dutch sailor's lock, made of brass to withstand the water, and it's got a strange screw locking mechanism. Horrible looking thing. This is the devious one, though. This is the one. This needs four turns to lock it, four turns to unlock it. So David's got to pick it four times. You reckon he's got a chance? No. <laughs> no, he says no. Well, look, we're going to come back to you in a minute. If you wouldn't mind just putting the mask on, and we'll see you shortly, and it's back to Glasgow. Blackpool and see what's happening. Jenny. Hi, Mary. Well, yeah, look, Dave's looking very stony-faced here. He's got locked in his iron mask here, and he's also locked into this harness, which very secure, I may say so, and it has to be. But we have got the other challenges. You might remember when we were in Rochdale, we had Georgie Clark with her horrible leg irons. Well, she's here tonight with a pair of handcuffs. Georgie, tell us, they're very unusual. Yes, these are what they call Hamburg 8. They're made in Hamburg, West Germany, in Germany, and in the turn of the century, and they open in they don't ever lock in the policeman's pocket but when they are locked like yeah, that they're very strong yeah. now how did you get hold of them well the customer brought them into the pub and said david duval won't get out of these so i brought them along oh, that's excellent. now we have a human story here you have a plea yes i have we collect unusual police items and there's a few things we haven't got but a police box is one of them right so if there's a doctor who in the house watching she wants a police box rings hotline immediately but from but from that back to the handcuffs that's going to pin dave to the harness and if that wasn't bad enough very own lucifer lever here has got the most appalling contraption thumb screws these are medieval thumb screws the thumbs go in like so the thumb the screw goes down locking the thumbs in position and then we have a lock as well and key to make sure the thumbs can't come out. The only way they can come out is by sawing off the end of the thumb. Oh my 
God. Well, if he does saw off the end of the thumb, don't worry, we've got a local GP, Mr. Bob Harrington here. Good evening, sir. Good evening. And as we had in Rochdale, we've had Bob has checked Dave inside and out, if you'll forgive the expression. And is he OK? Are you satisfied? I've examined him from top to toe, and I'm quite satisfied. He's clean. Oh, he's clean, isn't he? Yes. That's fantastic. All right, now look, in a few minutes, we're going to be ready to launch Dave off on the revolution. So we'll see you soon, but it's back to Glasgow. Well, now, the last time we saw David Duval, our mad escapologist, it was difficult to tell how confident he was feeling because he had an iron mask on. How's he doing then, Jenny Barnett? Are you still there in Blackpool? How's he doing? Well, he's do well uh, I've got terrible news, actually, because when we put the thumb screws on, Dave got very bad cramp in his arms, and we had to very quickly take the thumb screws off. Bob here did examine him, and the cramp... Well, we got it, it got it a little bit better, but I'm just going to find out how he is. Dave, how are you doing? Well, it, it, it's just cramp. I don't get cramp very often, Jenny, because I'm in a lot of tight fixes, but this particular re restraint round here is sort of pulling on it. But if we were to put the thumb screws back on, would you go ahead well, with the challenge? we've got so many people here, you've gone to such a lot of trouble, I can't back out. All right, then. Well, listen, Doc, do you think you'll be all right? Yes, I think he's anxious to go, so we shouldn't stand in his way. All right, Dave. Well, if you can go with the thumb screws. I'm never so sorry about Chris. I do hope we can get it together for the next time round. I'm sorry. I'm back to Glasgow. OK, well, we've got, um, it's about 17 minutes to eight, so he's got 17 minutes to get rid of, hopefully get rid of the, uh, the cramp and get the thumb screws back on. Very exciting here. We're finally ready to go. Dave's got this on and the padlocks and the thumb screws and the handcuffs. The, the cramp has gone. I'm going to stand back here. The invincible Vince is going to fire and we're ready. Good luck, Dave! that the journey may seem slow at the start and the end of it but I can tell you from first-hand experience that you need all that time at the top here to recover from the mental and physical shock of that loop. Loop, it's terrifying. I don't know how he's doing in there. Oh my god, what's he doing? What's he taking off there? He's 50, don't forget, he's 50 feet up in the air. He's on his way back. He's on his way back now. Here he comes. He's coming in now. I'm coming to join him now. Dave, how are you doing? I've managed you to... You see, what happens is this machine has to come back before it can get fired off. Well, he has, I'm... I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, he has taken off the thumb screws. I'm trying to pick the lock here, Jenny. I can't talk now because I'm trying to pick the oh, lock on the Oh, he's gone. He's trying to pick the lock in the handcuffs. I... There he goes. I... Yes, he's going to be picking away. Now, the thing about this is, you know, they've, they've got a machine in the bottom of this building here, which makes you feel your pulse when you've been on this thing. I went down there after the first thing. I had no pulse left. Believe me, you can, if you're an expectant mother or you've got heart attacks, you're not even allowed to travel on this thing. And this man is trying to pick locks. Well, we've got the thumb screws. I don't know what he's going to come back with the next trip. He's coming. And I can't stand too near the edge. It's so awful. Here it comes. Here he comes, here he comes now. Oh. Yes, yes, I think you can see. This is unbelievable. The man has got these handcuffs on. How are you feeling, Dave? Uh, well, it's, it's now so upset the equilibrium. I've got to pick this lock, Jenny, I'm sorry. I, here we go. Oh, God. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It is dreadful. Now, if you remember, he's got to get the iron mask off and he's got to get those two padlocks off. And he's only got something like 15 seconds to do it in and to come back here. I have no idea whether he's going to succeed in taking all this off. He's coming back now. He's coming back now. And also, he did say that he was feeling queasy. It does, you see, it turns you upside down. He's coming back now. Here he comes. Here he comes. I have no idea whether he's done it. Dave, how are you doing? I think I'm out, Jenny. He thinks he's out. I'm putting the I handcuffs think... down. Is this my last trip? I don't know. Wait a minute, quickly. Yes, yes, he has done it. That's he has my done trick. it. There's the padlocks. Take the eye mask off. And the I other one. I can't get the locker. Oh, there that it is. Lock. How are you feeling? I'm feeling. 
Will I you... can't. He can't take it. Come on, unpick it here. That's it. Oh. He's alive. He's alive. Well, look, it's back to you, England. The man has done it. He did amazing. Oh. amazing. Where is it? <laughs> David Deval, many, many congratulations. I didn't think you were going to get out of that at all. That's fantastic. Jenny, thanks very much indeed.